Hey what's up everyone welcome back to a new video on the channel in today's video we are going to check out Canva which is an amazing tool for creating your own images and designs online. An amazing thing about Canva is that it doesn't require you to install anything on your computer you can do everything online it's very straightforward it's very simple and basically anyone who has a computer can go ahead and make their own images either for their marketing or their website for their Instagram. It's just a great way of editing images easy, fast and have it done within minutes. Uh, you can start off for free and you can also get a premium plan if you want to create something custom. You can create GIFs and you can even edit videos using this tool. So in today's video we are going to check out this program basically going through the basics and how to use the tool. But with that being said let's just jump into this video and hopefully you do enjoy. Okay so the first thing you want to do when you get on canva.com or the first thing you want to do is get on canva.com. Uh, you can use the link down in the description to get on the same page that I am currently on uh, this way it will be easier for you to follow along the tutorial to make sure we're always on the same page uh, when I'm walking through all of the steps and the link in the description is also gonna be an affiliate link so it does give me some kickback when you do use my link so I do really appreciate when you do that because it does support the channel and it makes it possible for me to make videos like this one and also improve the quality of the videos that I make. But with that being said, let's just jump into the tool. Uh, so on the first page of the Canva website, uh, they are asking, what would you like to design? Uh, basically here you can use a theme uh, that is specific to what you are trying to create. It's gonna be in the, the right size uh, and everything is already gonna be done for you. Uh, you also have the recommended on the bottom where you can see your social media and events, marketing documents, prints, video, school, personal uh, documents. You can see here you can make a resume in here. You can make a report, a brochure, magazine cover, invoicing, ads, Facebook posts, flyers. There is so many different templates that you have in here which you can start using and making your own images that look great. They look professional. And you don't have to pay anything for it unless you want some of the more advanced features using Canva. Uh, but let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is create an account on the website. So we'll just go ahead and go to sign up in the corner of the website uh, and then just make your account. I will make my account now and then I will come back as soon as my account is done. Okay, as simple as that, my account has been created. First thing you'll see once you log in is what will you be using Canva for? Obviously, this depends on what you're doing. It doesn't really matter. This is just stats for Canva. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to say we are a small business. Now they're going to ask you to try the Canva Pro version. You can use it for 30 days for free, uh, which is what we will be doing in this video. So we are going to use some of the more uh, premium features. The premium features are great because it will allow you to do a lot more things. Uh, you can download transparent images, which you cannot do if you have the free version. And you can also do some more animations as well. You can do GIFs and video editing, uh, background remover. There are so many different things that comes with the Canva Pro. So for this video, we are going to do go ahead and use the Pro version. You can also go with the free version as well. Once you have gotten the premium version, they will also ask you for your team. In this case, it will only be me on the team. So I'm just going to put myself here and then you can just go ahead and put maybe later uh, and you are now a pro which is perfect got it once we are here this is going to be our first design so for this video i think we will look more into uh, something about social media so why not just go ahead and create a something we want to to have either as a marketing material for our facebook ads uh, or just something we want to post our, on our facebook page uh, so let's just go ahead and click on Facebook. Okay, so this is how the Canva editor is going to look like once you have signed up and you are actually in the editor itself. Uh, and this is going to be related. Everything here is going to be related to what we just picked. Uh, so we did pick a Facebook post or Facebook content. So the size of this image itself is going to be optimized for Facebook. It's going to have the right size. Uh, and size is very important when you work with images. If you don't really work with images that often, you might not be aware, but you want to make sure that you're using the right dimensions for the right platforms. If you have a 
a Facebook profile picture is gonna be a set dimensions that you should use or is recommended to use. And if you're creating a Facebook post, you wanna have a specific dimension. If you're doing an Instagram post, it's gonna be a different di dimension. Uh, so you always want to take that into account so canva makes it super easy because this is already done for facebook looking here on the side we do have a lot of templates we can import uh, and use in order to create our design uh, so coronavirus facebook post if you want to do an update on coronavirus uh, you can do the newsroom with facebook post sale a halloween facebook post this is a bit delayed as for now uh, but still they usually try to add as many templates as possible uh, specific to the season for upcoming holidays and sales that you might want to create something specific for and canva is always creating new content which is great so there's always something new in here there's always something to find and find something that fits your brand which is going to be important if you want to create something that looks good and also fits with your brand well let's just get started we're going to start off with a theme that they already have in here and we're actually gonna do something with Black Friday because that is coming up in just a week, I believe. So let's see what they have for Black Friday. So 50% off Black Friday and Black Friday, Black Friday. They do have some things. I did see one on the main screen, which I did like. So this one right here, I do like this animation that they have. Uh, so I think I will, let's see, what's this one? Uh, this one is also very cool. Cyber Monday right here. Cyber Monday looks cool as well. Uh, I do like the first one. So we're just going to click on this template and then import it to our site. Once we have imported this to our site, you can see that there are a lot of different elements. When you hover over it, you can see uh, that is customizable. So by clicking on each and every element here, you can see that you'll be able to customize each and everything. You will have all of the fonts here on the side for the text up here, for example. So you can pick the font that you have on your website. So if it's your brand, uh, you can change the color of this text. So if I want it to be red, we can change it to red. And if you make any changes that you don't want to keep, you just do control set and then you can just go back uh, in case you make any changes that you don't want to do. Uh, but this one right here, I think this look, looks great and it would be a perfect retargeting ad or could be a perfect retargeting ad specifically for Facebook. And then you have the code here at the bottom. I did realize that they did spell code wrong. So let's go ahead and fix that. Use code flash 50. Uh, so Canva, look into your templates. So once we're in here, we can also go ahead and change some of the things. I'm actually going to change this back to red. I think this could look cool to have in red. And I think the bottom one can be gray. Maybe I want to change it to purple just to make it stand out more. Maybe pink, maybe green. Uh, I'm actually going to keep both of these for red. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, for the text in the middle, I think the white looks pretty nice. Um, obviously when you make a Facebook ad or something that you're going to use for advertising, you want to make it stand out, make it unique. Uh, so obviously picking colors to make it stand out more and catch people's attention but also fits your brand is very important in all these aspects that you do. But in this video I'm not really gonna create something pretty. Let's go with the red theme. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, then you also have here on the side which is not our website. So obviously we want to change this as well. Uh, so let's just change this to uh, our test website website.com use code flash 50 maybe our code is going to be youtube 100 because we have a hundred percent off so we can even change that here as well so we can make it a hundred so obviously it's very straightforward when it comes to editing these templates uh, but let's say we want to add something on our own so if we go to uploads here on the side we can upload our own images, our own videos, our own audio. If we want to edit videos, audio is obviously going to be for, for videos. It's not going to be for images. But we can also go ahead and go to photos right here. And the good thing about Canva is that they do give you a lot of free images that you can use. Basically stock images, free to use. You can use it for whatever you want. And a lot of these images that you actually find on Canva are very high quality. You can find something here that you might want to use for your website or just in your ads. Uh, so let's say we do have a Christmas sale, even though this is Black Friday, maybe it's not super relevant. 
Uh, but just to give you an example, if I wanted to use this image right here and use it as the background for this uh, this post, all I have to do is just drag it and then hold to the side and it will change this image to the background of the post that we're making. Uh, but obviously this looks awful because it doesn't really fit whatever we are creating here. So let's just do control Z and go back. Uh, I think something that is black would look perfect for the background that we're trying to do. Uh, even a brick wall could look cool. Uh, maybe not this one, so we can go ahead and change. But obviously you have a ton of different options here. Even just for a black background, you can find so many different options. So if you want to find something specific to your brand, as I said, it's super easy to do so. And the customization part is also super easy. Uh, let's see what this is right here. Uh, it doesn't really look that good. The smoke one could look good. Maybe this is a vape company selling vapes. Um, but I think just the one that we have. Let's go back up here. I think it was this one. The, more like a leathery background. Um, no, this one. This is the one. <laughs> this is definitely the best one we're going to go for. So I'm going to keep this one as the actual background. I think it looks great. Uh, I might want to change the color of the text on the side right here because it's a bit hard to read. So I'll probably change it to straight up white. Uh, I think that will be a good contrast for the background that we have. Yeah, I think that looks great. Jumping more into the elements that you do have on Canva, we're going to jump into elements as well. So on elements, we have shapes and frames and stickers and charts. Basically, a lot of different options that we can use in all of our posts to create something very unique that sticks out but also fits whatever we are trying to create here. Uh, so you do have a lot of these uh, icons or figures right here which can be cool to use if it fits your brand. Obviously for this case scenario I don't think any of these would fit. I do love the gradients. I, I usually use the gradients for a lot of things. These can be super cool to add and I actually want to show you this real quick. So what I'm going to do is actually add another page here it's gonna have the exact same size as before. So this is essentially gonna be a totally new image itself, even though it's a second page, but I just want to highlight here uh, what you could potentially create. So dragging and dropping one of these gradients right here, let's place it in the middle. And then I wanna put my product on top of here. So let's say we're selling a specific product. I will go ahead and find an example right now. Okay, so I just added a picture of a Nike shoe. And what I'm going to do here is just click on the Nike shoe that I just uploaded to the site. And as you can see, this would be a very cool contrast to add as a background to your product, let's say. Uh, and maybe I don't want it to be that big, actually, or maybe I want to. Uh, but you can see what you could potentially create here by using these tools. And then we probably want to add something else on top of this. So we probably want to add a text. So if we go into text right here, we do have some, some templates for text we can use as well. Uh, if you don't find anything specific you want to use, you can go ahead and start over with your own one. So just add a normal heading, change the colors to it, change the font uh, and, and everything else you want to change to the actual text. Uh, but I actually think this one right here could fit pretty well. So I'm just going to click it, drag and drop it. We want to probably change the size right here to about 72 I think that looks good then I'm just gonna drag this down I want it under my picture and also aligned in the middle and then we can just put Nike shoes sale then obviously this doesn't look that good because it doesn't fit the colors of the background or the gradient that we do have in the background so either we could change the gradient of the background or we can go ahead and change the effect on the text uh, so as you can see here, we have the glitch one and you have two different color choices down here. We can also go ahead and change it to something else. So maybe we want to change it to neon or we can change it to echo or splice. So there's a lot of different options here. I think splice look pretty cool. I think the echo one also looks cool. So this is really up to your personal preference. Obviously, you want to have a look around and see what fits the best. Uh, you want to spend a lot of time creating something that really looks cool. Uh, I think for this one, I think something around. I think something, something like this can look pretty cool. Um, 
And then let's just change it to black. That's gonna be it for that little example that I did. Let's just go back to where we were. Uh, sorry for that, but I thought that was a pretty cool thing I just thought of. Uh, that you can actually create using the tool. Uh, then in styles, you can change your uh, color theme. This will change everything on the post itself. So it kind of aligns with the same theme. Uh, also change the font itself. Uh, you have music libraries, so these are going to be songs you can use if you do have the pro version. So if you are editing a video in here, you can drag and drop these and add music to your videos. Uh, then you also have video content, so these are going to be stock videos that you can use. If I wanted to create a YouTube video in here, I basically could. And then I could use these stock videos inside my video. Going from videos, we also have background in here. So backgrounds are basically going to be what I just added right here. As uh, so we can find it either in gradient, we can have a pattern or abstract, food, texture, flowers, so on and so forth. And that's going to be basically it for the background. So in folders, you'll have all your design, the ones you like. You can also purchase things. So some images are not going to be stock images that you can use for free. Some of them you have to purchase, same with videos and same with some of the audio. Shared with you is gonna be what other people have shared with you. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You can also add people. They can edit your, your content that you are creating. So if you're working with another team, if you're working on a school project, or, or if you're working with freelancers, this is gonna just gonna be a great way for you to collaborate with whoever you're working with. So you can do that as well. And logos, that's gonna be if you have created a logo, so you can just find your logos and drag and drop them in here as well and in more you're gonna have some of the extra features that you might want to use i i barely use some of these but you still have the option to use them uh, so pixabay is going to be free images and emojis and embeds uh, google maps qr codes facebook dropbox instagram and here for example you can add your videos into canva or you can add other videos other youtube videos directly into your videos if you want to use that as a reference let's say Bitmoji's, there are a ton of different options here. But going back to templates and just clicking around, we can see that there are a ton of different things you can create here and you have a ton of different templates you can use. And I think that is just my favorite feature using Canva. And especially that you don't have to save anything. Everything is just saved online. So even though you work on your laptop and then later you're on your desktop, Everything is just saved. It hasn't changed at all. So you don't have to transfer anything. It's just there. It's kind of like a Google Drive if you ever worked in Google Drive. Uh, it's super useful. And I use this tool for basically everything that I do. So while recording, I realized that I never showed you how to actually download your images once you are finished. So let's go through that right now. So let's say you are finished with your design, with your template. All you have to do is go up into the corner of Canva and there is a download option right here, but you can also publish it directly to Facebook as this is going to be a Facebook post. If this would have been a Instagram template, we would have been able to publish it directly to Instagram. So all you have to do to download your file or your image, in this case, this could be either a GIF or a video because it does have the moving element to it. So I wouldn't recommend you to download it as an image. Uh, but going into the download options right here in the corner, I can download it either as an MP4, SVG, PDF, a PDF standard, JPEG, PNG, and also a GIF. For this one, I would probably use it as a GIF. I think that would be a, a cool thing to do, especially if I'm using it for a Facebook ad, let's say, or just straight up for our my Facebook page. Um, but let's say we are gonna download it as an MP4. And before, as I said, it's going to be a pro feature. So if you have an image you have made, you can just get it as a JPEG. And if you're uploading it to your social media, I would recommend PNG because PNG is gonna be the highest possible quality for your image. Uh, so go for PNG if you're looking to upload it to social media. Once you have picked your format, you can then go ahead and click which pages you want to download. So I do have both of these because I created the shoe as well. Uh, in this example, I just want to get the first one. So I'm just going to click the first one. And once I've done that, I can just go ahead and click download. And you will get the file directly saved to your computer. 
but that is gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed i know there are a lot of different features in canva and it's almost impossible to cover all of these features in one video so if you guys want me to cover more canva features in the future comment it down below in the comments i'll make sure to make a more detailed video on that specific feature i would appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video or a dislike if you didn't like the video at all and also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other videos in the future but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the very next video